Hello everyone and welcome to Mega Aquarium. We are back on this amazing little game once again. I know that a lot of you have been requesting that I carry on with the campaign, but I had a different idea. We're going to do something that I have yet to really do on any game that I've played on this channel over the last 18 months, two years. And that is kind of do a big build type thing, like a sandbox experience with all of the DLCs, everything going on. Um, and we're even going to throw in some mods for good measure as well and just try and create something really freaking cool. And yeah, just sort of see what happens as we go. So just to give you an idea of what we've got turned on here, these are the mods that we're going to be playing with. So we've got everything from uh, new different types of tanks. We've got some, some new filters. We've got a, a slight change in the way that the diets work. I'll be honest, I've not used any of these mods yet. So there is going to be a little bit of a learning curve with some of these. Some of them are kind of like gameplay changes that actually should make the game a little bit more succinct and a little bit more strategic and, and challenging as well. Um, and then we've also got some new... Uh, a couple of new animals in there as well. Um, so yeah, we've got uh, we've got some good stuff in here. We are going to get cracking straight into the sandbox experience. So as you can see, we've got all of the DLCs turned on. Uh, um, animal availability. What we got here? Uh, yeah, we'll start with standard. I'm not. I'm not going to go diving headfirst in and have everything available. I still want there to be some level of progression through this. And the same for the equipment, uh, side objectives, trades, yes, merchants, no, we'll have all of that on. Unlimited money, we're going to leave that off. Again, want there to be some progression, I want there to be some kind of challenge here. I don't want this to just be pure sandbox, I want this to be a big build, but still with the same limitations that we've had to operate in when we make the uh, when we make the game, or when we made the, the campaign videos earlier in the year and, and last year as well. Uh, care requirements, yes, equipment breakdowns, yes, all good. Seed-wise, I mean... Yeah, <laughs> I'm assuming that is uh, automatically generated each time, but it shouldn't be a problem. Right then. So as always, before we get going, we have seen some good growth on the channel over the last 12 months. Um, I'd like to keep that going. We've got some uh, plans I'm going to be talking about in the next uh, week or two with how this channel is going to go um, and some other bits and pieces as well. So if you are enjoying the content, make sure you like, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff. Right then, let us see what we got. So what have we got here? So we've got... Uh, a lot of the stuff we kind of we're probably used to having in the other main game. Yeah, all fairly standard stuff. Very very standard stuff. Good, good. Okay. Oh, we've got some uh, we've got some nice little different seats that we didn't have before. And a theme toilet. We've got some data signs here. So what do the data signs do? Interesting information about your fishes will make tired guests see your fishes differently and regain interest. Nice. And it generates prestige every time it's used. We have a wall bin. That's kind of cool. So that means, I'm, I'm assuming that means that the person who's emptying the bin goes behind the wall to empty it. That's a, that's pretty neat. And in here, uh, we have staff gates, staff doors. That's quite nice. Um, we've got different, we've got Greek paint, minimal paint. Fence dividers. That's kind of cool as well. And we can make tunnel, tunnel archways. Nice. Okay, so we've got some, we've got some new things in here to experiment with. Um, Research-wise, I guess that's just going to come up as and how we go. Um, prepare for the construction of a tank. Okay, so we've got some hermit crab we can get cracking with. Get some more base prestige that way. No, this is helpful. Okay, please can we help each other out? We could share our supply of Oriental sweet lips with you. In return, we'd like the following animal. Uh, they want fully grown arctic chars. Do we actually even have those yet? We do not. That would be why we uh, can't accept it right now. So we're going to leave that one alone in there for now. And we'll just have this one as our first and only side objective to start with. Right then. Um, I mean, this is going to be difficult for me to imagine what this is going to look like and just how big this can get because I have never done this on this game. Obviously, the last campaign mission that we did, the aquarium did get pretty big in size. But obviously, when you're starting from a blank canvas like this, it's kind of difficult to envisage how big you're going to need to make it and just how spaced out you're going to need to make things. So just to go for... Yeah, we haven't got any cold water stuff at the moment at all. It's all saltwater tropical fish. So we effectively are going to make a tropical section of the, um, of the aquarium. So I think what we'll do, in my mind at least... The, way, the best way this is going to work is if we are going to split this into 
into sections. Okay, now usually I'd have, I'd like to have like a, a walkway, a one-way walkway for like around the entire aquarium so that guests are kind of pushed down a one-way street effectively and they go around the entire aquarium seeing everything, running into all of the food and other needs that they have around the areas, around the entire aquarium, and then they leave. So what I'm thinking here is similar kind of, uh, similar kind of thinking, um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna have four very distinct sections and then like a walkway separating each one, maybe some kind of tunnel archway that they walk through a massive tank and then they go into the next section. That's, that's kind of the base vision that I've got for this. It's going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of tweaking as we go. And we don't have tons of money as things stand. I've got to remind myself how much it costs to build new tires. Not too much. Okay, that's good. So we've got 700 there. We'll go out like that for now. And we can't build that way, can we? Yeah, so... Uh, actually, can we... Oh, we only get half the money back. That's fine. Um, so we'll just we'll build, we'll build there for a sec, for a little bit, um, and we are we are going to look to try and put most or have, most of the tanks are going to have multiple fish in there. We're not we're not going to have too many situations where there's only one type of fish in there unless that particular type of fish prefers the solitude of being on their own. Um, so uh, we'll have we'll start with a raised corner tank first of all. Something like that. Um, and we will also have... We don't have pumps or anything at the moment. So actually, just... just to, Probably worth just giving us an extra layer behind there. Um, we'll build out this tank first. And just do it now. Just so that we've got stuff ready to go. Uh, he is a wimp. And that is a shola. Okay, well that's all. And they all require orange pellets. So all three of those, I reckon... I reckon go in there. We are paused, aren't we? Uh, yes, we are. Good. They need to be in there. Tank is full. Okay, so in which case... Um, we need to... Sell that one. And we need to put another one of those in there. Oh, can we not? Are they too, are they too big? That's annoying. Yeah, they're size 4. Do that. Okay, so we've got three different fishies in there. Lovely old job. Why is that such a weird colour? Can I... Interesting. Okay. So I don't believe you can change the colour of these, can you? Hmm. Okay, that's kind of annoying. That means that we're gonna oh, and we're gonna have two tone platforms and stairs for the entire playthrough. That's a little bit frustrating. Uh, in actual fact, we want to probably have that like that. Uh, we also. Just do that for now. Uh, so, power combi, can we do can we do it just on that? We can indeed. And orange pellet dispenser can go there. We're going to have this all kind of blocked off anyway, so it's going to be like this. Uh, what are we up to? 6,664. So we're good to get at least one more tank in. Uh, this one will just be a straight-up wall tank. But a much better, much bigger one. And we're also going to need a staff door here, aren't we? What was that? A camouflage staff door. Oh, I like that. So, it doesn't actually have no entrance on it, which is worrying. I'm assuming that the guests will know not to go in there. Uh, we can also... Can't put that in there because it's too big. Uh, put a bit of rubble in there and then we'll put in... Something like that in there just to give it a little bit more interest. And then... 
like that again and in this one we've got any fish that are going to be growing and supersized but these are all tropic uh tropical fish as well and so they're all it's quite big seven size dislikes food competitors cannot be housed with other species that eat green pellets you can't go in with with those you don't like lights uh, I think maybe these guys then. So we can have the soldier fish. We can go in there like that, and then we'll have a couple of the a couple of the, the bigger lads. Maybe you can have one more going there as well, just so that that's fully kitted out. We'll have another power combi in there like that. We are still going to need an additional. Oh, okay, more filters. Oh, we do have pumps. I didn't realize we had pumps. Here we go. Okay, so a few extra bits and pieces needed there to get that one off the ground, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to need that to go in there just for the Ks. We can stick a barrel in there. Life ring. Probably makes more sense to have that in a, in a bigger, deeper uh, one of those. We'll stick an anchor in there, and then we'll stick a few sea letters isn't there as well okay lovely uh, and then we need where is it where is it green uh, I think we need to maybe just make this go one more back you know just give them just that little bit more room behind there um, right so that's all done that's two one set up we're at 4392 can we get one more in I think we probably can in actual fact, we could probably just have... Just go like that and have one literally alongside it. Okay, fish is in here, so we've got those. Let's check, uh, put that on so that we know which ones we haven't used yet. So these ones are all quite small. He's a bully. He will pester wimps, but these are not wimps. That's fine. In fact, none of them are wimps. So these can all go in with each other so we'll get we could go in with these three and then these two could be in the uh in the final one so a couple of you a couple of you we get one more of each in there you can have one that's a three you can have one more as well there we go all right power combi and a power filter that should be enough Food requirements already sorted behind there. And then we're going to put some of this stuff in there. There we go. So those are your first three. They're up and running. We now are going to need some some staff, and then we're going to need to put in some guest bits and pieces in here. So how does this work, then? Alright, so we can create little carousels. That's kind of cool. Some stuff over here like this. So we need vending machines and we can have a uh, toilet in here as well. Um, I think we have that there. I don't know, do we want to put that right next to the, to the vending machine? Probably not, actually. Let's put it there. So there's a plenty of nice big open space here. We want to err on the side of caution with spacing. If there's a, an opportunity to have lots of space, then I think we take it. We don't. We also don't need to worry about what the fuck is a fish fridge? A fridge to keep fresh fish stores an assortment of freshwater and salty water fish from many sizes. This dispenser's limited capacity, but it's refilled at the beginning. Of the week. Okay, so this is a different type of food. That's something I've not seen before. It's also worth noting that it looks like um, 
There is, I don't think we had limitations on the amount of food from each dispenser before. I don't think that was a thing. Again, that could be one of the mods. Uh, we're actually going to delete that because that kind of looks a little bit silly. So there'll be a time and a place for that, but it is not right now. Um, we'll have a, a data sign there for that one. There for that one and there for that one. Make sure we have one of those around each one. Uh, we'll have a themed a themed bin. Put it there. I think that's for the moment at least. That is everything we need to kind of get us off and running. We are going to... Um, We're going to do this. This is our this is our tropical landscape here. Really wants to go all the way along, doesn't it? Like that. Okay, there we go. So that's our little starter for ten. I don't think there's anything else that I need to worry about now. We've got one more tank we could might be able to squeeze in, to be brutally honest. Maybe we could just have a, uh, a little basic tank just kind of in the middle. Because I think, how big are the uh, fish we've got left over? Oh, they're quite sizable. So maybe we just have like a, a nice little tank in the, in the middle like this that they can just wander around and have a look at inside this little tropical area. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, that's plenty big enough. We are probably, therefore, going to need to, to have a pump on this one. I may have bitten off more than I can chew here. Thankfully, it doesn't cost any money to, uh, to paint stuff on this game. Will that pump reach? Yes, it will. Okay, that's good. We may need... Okay, we got it. That's good. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Nice and simple. That one is just going to be over there, just doing its thing. We're not going to need to worry about the staff zones, as I've said, because we're not big enough, so the staff that we have in are just going to be over, out here doing a bit of everything. Don't think they need a platform for this one. They should just be able to reach over. I have I do a sort of seem to remember that the guests don't like seeing the feeding and stuff happening. So if that's the case, we might have to maybe block off one side and have the feed go from behind the walls there. We'll see we'll see how they react. Uh, right, well, we need to open because we have no money. <laughs> so we'll open up. We need to hire some staff as well. Feeding and fixing. There we go. Those two can come in and do their stuff. Uh, I can't remember. Can we... Just now, here we go. So, Abdul, you are very good at feeding. So don't do that stuff. Jennifer, you're the opposite. You're doing the other stuff. Uh, right, so, oh look, we've got some, uh, some projects to do here. So we're already at rank number four. All these things in there. Is it, we're going to see a lot of new, or I'm going to see a lot of new fish along the way here. I don't recall seeing that one. I don't recall seeing that one before. That's the Arctic Char that the other request was talking about. So do we go for that? Or do we go for keep with the tropical theme over here? And go for 
something like this. I kind of like this one, just because it looks so fucking mental. What is this? Why is it? Why, are they playing golf? That's territorial. If there are more than one combined size of Picasso triggerfish, must not exceed 10% of tank capacity. Right, okay. He is a bully. My god, look at him. He is an absolute machine, this thing. He just eats everything. A nibbler, prone to nibbling the appendages of other fish. Avoid placing with a nibbler fish. What is that? Explore. It needs four or more different decorations. He has got. He is a very high maintenance fish. He is a crustacean, so he's going to get eaten by him, isn't he? With size. Only, oh, okay, he only eats small crustaceans. So he would be okay. He wouldn't actually get eaten. I think we go with... What is this? I don't even understand. Requires neutral water. Okay. Fresh water. He's a freshwater fish. Or it can be. He's a breeder. We had that before, didn't we? It's possible to breed hybrids of this species that vary in colour and pattern. Colour mutations will occur at random and increase frequency when the parents are of different colours. He's a nibbler as well. He's a wimp. Needs to be in group of at least five guppy or single or singly or in a pair. What? So in other words, you can't have three or four of them. They've got to have five or more or just be on their own. Plant lover, he's brine shrimp. Okay, we've got some very high maintenance high maintenance fish here. He eats blood worms. Again, some of these things I don't actually know if they're stuff from mods or whether this is all stuff I just hadn't seen as yet in the various campaigns in this game. Right, we'll go with the flame angel. Let's get the rank three stuff done after all that. Right, okay, so is there anything else right now we need to worry about? I don't think there is. We haven't unlocked science yet. I'm assuming this is what, this is all the other stuff we overlock. We, we have unlocked, sorry. Oh, we've actually unlocked a bunch of new fish anyway. River pink, bogwood pieces. There's loads of new fish we've unlocked. We've got lots of new stuff. We've got chocolate vending machines, one-way gates. Hermit crab, toy shelves, ecology posters, abyssal tanks. I thought this was all... We haven't got this stuff yet, have we? This is all stuff we have to unlock. Okay. As you can see, it's been a while. Oh, here we go. Choose now. Here are some of the things we can have. Uh, let's go with... We'll go with the protein skimmer to start with. Because at the moment, our tanks and the amount of fish we've got are not big enough to require the massive heaters. These combis are doing doing the job just fine. So we'll have this area over here as like the starter area. This is going to whet your appetite for the rest of the aquarium. We're going to have lots of little small fish, lots of colourful, nice to look at. And then as we go deeper into the aquarium, we'll get into the big boys as we unlock them. Oh, I just realised. Don't need those. <laughs> They're not uh, tall enough. Only that one does. I remember it's uh, as long as the uh, the line lines up with the back of that. So is it? Let's just uh, let's get the, the eel on the go. From a painting perspective, so we've got this minimal paint, right? So if we paint, I was about to say if we paint the uh, the back of these tanks. Raised corner tank. No, I don't, I don't... Yeah, that is quite frustrating that you've got this... We've got this two-tone effect. I don't know whether that's a mod doing that. Because, obviously, in the main game, these were... These platforms were the same colours as the stairs. If I'm doing something stupid here, guys, please, please do let me know. A flat roof. Create an enclosed aquarium scene for your guests or use these roofs to cover up unsightly equipment. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yes, thoughts. Have we got what are the negatives? We have no negatives. That is good. I feel like having uh, just something at the start here. To sort of signal the uh, the entrance. We don't actually have. Yeah, we could delete one more of those, couldn't we? Ah, 
like this. Starts the journey. I like it. Do we even... Do, actually, I was just thinking, do we actually go... Do we actually put a wall in there instead? Block it off completely. We can have that. And then in... Oh, no. I've, I've, uh, I've locked him in. Craig, I'm sorry. There we go. And then... Once we get... I think we will get, like, decorations and things that we can actually put around the place, I think. Uh, right, now we're into this one. Let's get that one. I think you can actually have decoration so at some point so we can put stuff in here can't we so some of these stuff have some of these things have to go in into these areas so once we unlock more theme decorations we can make this little themed area here I like that Okay, so interesting. So I was actually able to click on those then. We just make this entire entrance here. Let's just make the entire th Okay, whatever. Just, just make the whole thing tropical. There we go. Looked a bit silly, didn't it, with the two-tone. But... I was just saying, because you can click on the fence... I was able to click on the fence and make it a different colour. But I don't appear to be able to do that with those. It's annoying. Right. Um, solid start, I think we could say. Half hour in or so. Oh, we had a negative thought. What was that? What was the negative there? How do you how do you get there? Guess thoughts. I'm too tired heading home. I really need the toilet heading home. I mean, I can put down some more chairs for you guys if, if you if you would like. Some more some more seats about the place. Maybe put a. Uh, I like the idea of a wall bin. I want to kind of try it. Can we decorate it? That's the key thing. Yes, we can. Lovely. Well, I don't know about you guys. I think this is a this is a solid start for for sale. A protein skimmer. What do they cost normally? We haven't even unlocked it yet, have we? I'm sure they're about 800 quid new. There we go. Three protein skimmers for $500. Bargain. I'm interested in donating eight of the following animals. Amidas ch uh, Chichlid. Okay. First, you need to prove your aquarium worthy of such a donation. Fine. Trade offer. This is the same trade offer, Molly. That's fine. Right, well, we're already halfway to, to, uh, to getting there. We just need 15 different animals. So as things stand, it's just those two that we've not got in the aquarium right now. But we've made a solid start here. I think what we'll do after this, we're going to take them off on a little escapade over this way. I think that's what we'll do. We think we need one more staff. We'll hire you. Because you're quite good at the feeding and the talking. And I think because you don't have... Picnic's reset. I was going to say, because you don't have the skills, I don't think they'll actually do it, will they? They won't actually do the cleaning. Uh, right. Uh, let's start unlocking some of the... Big let's go for the Arctic Char, because we know we've got to do that at some point. Although we're not into the cold area of the uh, aquarium just yet. We're we're going full tropical and then we'll have the cold water stuff a bit later. 
Uh, yeah, I think I mean, we'll, we'll leave it like that anyway. That's fine. But I don't think they are allowed to do the cleaning or the fixing just purely because they don't have the skill set to do so. Right. You should be going and cleaning that. Oh, you don't... Do you not have the... Do we not have anybody who's got the skills to do cleaning? We have nobody who can clean. Okay, well, that's a problem. Right, you come in and do the cleaning. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Toilet's a bit... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it. Don't you worry. But it's important to even, I guess, start in this way to have people doing specific jobs because at some point we are going to have to assign zones and all that kind of stuff. And it just makes makes that task a little easier if we have some of that stuff kind of already pre-set up. Yeah, it's nice to get back into this game, you know. It's so chill. It's definitely going to be uh, a slog to get this science. How do we get more science stuff then? See, is it? It's the animals. Is it the animals that provide it? Yeah, like the Mowbray Eel. If we can get get these guys in next, they'll generate more science for us, and they'll actually start. This will start picking up. Right. Let's just pause for a second because I need to. We need to build around here. So we're gonna build a, a walkway. This is all. This is going to be. This is just going to be a pure walkway. Nothing else. Uh, yeah, we'll buy that as well. So we're just gonna, this is just laying the foundations, literally, to the next area of the aquarium. And we don't have enough money to do that, that's fine. But we need to shut that off for now. This is, um, we need to put like an under construction sign up, that'd be cool. Um, right. I think we're kind of good. We can have we could have that there when they uh, move the next area onwards. So effectively, we're just going to run this now for a, a little while just to try and generate some more dust. I don't think you can get loans in this, can you? No, I'm pretty sure you can't. But it's not that difficult to make money in this game. Right, it looks like there's a lot of people walking about the place that don't seem to understand. The concept of walking over here to go to a toilet. So another toilet is going to be needed. I'm thinking it will go there. And then we just need to... Can we pick up and move? Do that. So as people go past this, uh, this toilet, they're effectively being forced to use it if they actually need to, if that makes sense. There's no way they can avoid that. It looks like they kind of want another one, like maybe another one over here, but I mean, there's two toilets in this small area. There shouldn't be people struggling to work out where a freaking toilet is. For sale, 1600. Blind caved uh, tetras. Yeah, some of these are, this is a fresh, it's compatible with fresh water. Doesn't mean it has to be. I think that's what that means. This is the neutral water. This is something I've not seen. I don't... I've not seen... Is there a specific tank for that? Or a specific tool? I've not seen anything to do... With, with, with that. That's something I've not seen. Uh, dear, cu dear curator, I represent responsible livestock and sundry. We work with our aquariums to make new and exciting species available for purchase. 
Our latest project is set up a supply of reef squirrel fish. Does it look like lights? There's shoalers, and there's how many of them? Funding the cost of setting this up. Oh, this is. Oh, okay. This isn't. Uh, this is just giving us the ability to actually have them. Uh, we don't have enough money to do that, so I'm afraid. I'm going to leave that there. We're not a million miles off having enough um, uh, money. I'm oh, sorry, that was the word I was looking for. We're not far off having enough money to now begin the build over here. I'm also going to need, once we once we push people around this way, I'm going to have to then have a way of funneling them back around. I mean, as much as I'd love them to stay in the aquarium forever, it's not really feasible. So we are going to have to find a way of also funneling people this way. But then if they want to leave, they have to go around that way, perhaps to go back to the start. So that's going to be one slight concern, uh, is that people will get stuck along the way. I don't know how good their pathfinding abilities are. If they're over here and they think they've seen enough or they get bored or whatever and they want to leave, I don't know how clever they are to then find their own way home effectively. Right, okay. I think we are at a point where we can begin to think about how we're going to lay this out. I'm thinking about having sort of mirroring this and having some tanks facing this way along here and then having this area behind here is your main staff area um whereby they basically these staff just live and then inhabit their entire lives in here and never really move so i think that is probably the direction of travel and then we can also have some more tanks over this side so we can make them effectively uh, as we so look at that as effectively they get they're going to come up here they're going to have all this stuff on the right-hand side, maybe some stuff on the left as well, and then they're going to kind of loop around like that and then come downwards. That's the plan. Also, if you're watching and you're a fan of this game, if there are mods that you feel like I should include as well, then do let me know. I just kind of had a little browse through the Steam Workshop before I started this and uh, whacked a few on. But if there are any really cool ones that you think I should use, um, please let me know in the comments down below. I don't know, honestly, whether or not if I activate a mod, whether that mod is going to come to life and be usable in this now playthrough. Um, again, let me know if that's the case or we can maybe do some testing. But uh, yeah, let me know if there are any other ones that I should be aware of. Things going well at the moment, but we definitely need to do something about this science. This is going up way, way too slow. So, let us begin, I think. We're probably going to have to extend, we're going to have to extend this a decent chunk that way. Um, a rate, do we want a raised tank? Or do we want to just basically mimic these ones? I mean, in terms of the fish that are going to be going in there, I mean, these ones are fairly... Cannot be housed with dotty bags, grammars, or Athenas. That's fine. We haven't got any of those. Love some rocks. Is a bit of a bully. They are literally solitary, uh, solitary animals. They eat crustaceans. So actually, all of these in theory could go into the same tank together. We could just have a couple of those, one of those, and maybe one or two of those. In this one, four to nine. They're a wimp, so they couldn't go in there because the because of these guys. These are bullies. How is it that you, size 9, would be bullied by something literally a third of your size? Okay, but these three can go into one tank. That's the key point there. So let's go for a... Uh, we're going to go for a raised tank, I think. Or do we go for a, a raised corner tank? I think we'll go for a raised corner tank because then we can have it there that they sort of see it as they come around. Uh, we'll go there. It's not a very big tank, that's the only thing, isn't it? Okay. How big is that? So it's up to 23. So in reality then, these, these cowfish are going to go in there, but there's only going to be a couple of them that are going to go in there. Okay. So they go up to size 9, right? So I think we can only have 2. So if they get to size 9, that's going to be 18. So they literally are going to be on their toe. The only thing we could do 
is just stick a flame anglefish in there as well, an angelfish, sorry. Is just stick one of those in there with it at size three, because that will make it uh, 21. Yeah, I think we stick one of those in there as well, just to give it a little bit of um, variety in there. Now then, do we move, maybe go one step forward. Uh, we need to cut that side off like that. Um, we can... Go like that. For the time being, we'll, we'll cut that side off completely. I think we're actually what we need to do is we're going to kind of leave this over here as it is. And once this area is ready, then we'll open it up. But as things stand, I don't think there is a need to open this out for just one tank for the moment. If we can get once we get the second tank in, I think that's when we open it up. need to do this, don't we, really? Paint everything. Like so. Um, and then maybe we'll have, maybe we'll have, like, this is the tropical area, and then the next big area that we have, we just have that as, like, the shipwreck area, because that's still kind of tropical, I guess. Greek, probably we can... My Greek colours tend to be a lot brighter, don't they? They're going to be whites and things like that. So maybe we can coincide that with the cold fish, the cold water fish. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, right, so what do we need over here? We are going to need one of those. Nice and simple. Uh, yeah, that really was very simple. And then we're also going to need some different food for them, which is some cockles, that's fine. And that is practically it, isn't it? We are unfortunately going to have to start reusing some of this, though, because we simply don't have the choice. I don't know how long I've been playing this game, but I still just forever click the wrong the wrong option. So if I'm looking for food, I'll click that. If I'm looking for plants, I'll click that. I do it all the time. Right, we'll have a little seating area along here. Have one there as well. Uh, right, we can get cracking again now because we need to keep the money rolling in. We're almost at the point where we can do this, where we're going to get rewarded with these eight uh, chichlids. So actually, in actual fact, we don't necessarily need to worry about covering this off, do we? Because at the moment, nobody is coming through. How many fish can we get in there? It's only, th only up to 30, which means... Again, we can only really have two of these eels. That takes us to 18. Uh, and then we can have maybe s four of those. Yeah, to get it to 12. That's 30. So, one, two, three, four. Let's pause again so they don't die. One, two of those. That's fine. They need... Uh, we can probably put in the other ones, couldn't we? We could probably put in some... Uh, some driftwood stuff and some rocks again i'm still i'm still doing it <laughs> i'm still clicking the wrong things honestly i hope we've run out of money that's the problem uh get those things on the go they are, these these fish are literally going to die Um, did I? I bought those protein skimmers, didn't I? Okay, that sorts that sorts the water out. Now it's just heat. How much is one of those combi mini? Have we got enough to buy that? We've got a buff enough to buy a combi mini. Oh, power! Oh, these are actually quite cheap. 
Oh, lovely. There we go. We're good. We're good. Uh, oh, actually, it's not the cave. Is it the cave? Oh, it is caves. We also need to put in... We need to put in some more rocks. Uh, okay, that's not going to work, is it? rid of that and that. That goes in like that. And then... Because that also, that's hilarious that also, or hilarious that's that's good that it also gives us that. And then we can do that and then we're good. We should have therefore we don't need to put any of these things in we could just leave it as a very rocky mess i feel like we should uh, we should put something in come on give me enough money there we go can we are we charging to come into the aquarium by the way i think it, oh okay so it it, it adapts Based on how good the uh, thing is. So it's currently 62 to get in. Uh, right, so we need some, we need the data signs, don't we? So, paint those like that. And then we're just going to need to move these around. I feel like we, we should probably make a... Uh, a maintenance cupboard for these things so they've got somewhere a little bit more uh, succinct to live we are probably gonna need another member of staff to come and help fix stuff so we will get a, uh, a second tool station like that um, fixing we can find somebody who's a bit better at fixing that would be nice fixing two any advances on two Remember, I've got to remember now how we get to the point, uh, sorry, get to the menu whereby we can see. So who's the other person who's doing fixing? It's not you. Is it you? Yeah, it is. Currently don't have any red muscles. more person to come in and feed do we think I don't want to go mad what I don't want to get to I don't what I don't want to do is get to a point where everybody is there's too many tanks that are being left unfed but one two three four five six seven tanks we're about to get an eighth that would possibly be one step too many uh, breeder. Hello, creator, master breeder. Uh, with the back, back with another breeding challenge. You want to breed the guppies? Okay, we'll give that a try. Hello, my name is Bernie Peters. I'm putting together a private collection. I will remunerate you considerably if you can provide the following. Uh, okay, well, we don't have any of those right now. I think it's important not to decline them, though. Uh, right, fish-wise, where are we? What are we looking at at the moment? So the only we have the char. We now also have a freshwater fish. Uh, 
I'm assuming that that is a different type of tank altogether. Or there is a machine that you plug into it to make it fresh water. That is... That's my guess. Amazon sword. Okay. Uh, right, 750 quid. On day 15 now. I mean, things are, things are going well, though. That is what I will say that. Things are going quite smoothly. I feel like we're almost at the end now of episode number one. Um, in fact, you know what? I think we will... Have they just... Have some of those boys just grown, have they? Yeah, they have. Don't need to worry about that. So we are going to need to have... Let's get a power filter in there for that one. Right. Well, I think... That is a good solid start for this uh, for this big build. Uh, we have got a ton more to do in this. Of course, I'm sure you're aware that there is anybody that's played this game will know that there is a ton more to unlock and do. We've got we've got barely any customer attraction stuff in here. We've only got a, a vending machine for fizzy drinks. That's it. We've got no uh, no gift shop, no no anything. So yeah, long long way to go in this one. We've got a few challenges we're going to have a little crack at in the next episode probably, and we'll look to maybe expand this one down and around. Um, and we can. It's a shame that you can't sort of put. You know, if you want to go to the exit, go this way. But if not, carry on, go that way. That'd be kind of cool. So yeah, there we go. That is going to bring us to the end of episode number one. I hope you've enjoyed this start of this big build project that we are doing. Uh, let us know in the comments anything you'd like to see me do, any ideas, any suggestions, anything like that. They will all be gladly welcomed. Uh, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you do all of that stuff. Share us around and we'll see you all for episode number two.